sometimes you want to make something round and you don't want it to be straight out of your hand. You want it to be absolutely precise. In which case you're going to use something called a compass. And there are all different kinds of compasses, but basically they all make circles, okay? This is a compass that has a pencil, lead pencil, lead on the on the one end of it. Now, this is going to be the center of the circle, and what I have to remember is that I have to keep this very firm. So I'm pressing down more here than I'm going to be pressing here. I'm going to hold my paper down, and I'm going to be careful and mindful the whole time I'm doing this, still pressing, still pressing on the center, still pressing, still pressing, and coming around, and there you go. And then this guy will allow me to go like this, so then I could go like this. And now I have a lining for doing some lettering in a circle, which is very tricky. So I'll have to teach you about that someday. This is a smaller compass. Same idea, just a smaller guy with a very, very pointy part to it, so you have to be very careful. Yes, I have stabbed myself, and it's a horrible thing to do to yourself, so you have to be very, very careful. Well, you wouldn't want to do it to anyone. All right, now, what I've just done, I should have showed you that. What I've just done is I've filled this guy, because this is a, like an inked, inky compass. And let's see, this can be adjusted. Let's see if we can get this to work. First, you have to get this to go. This is why I don't like that. This is where the uh, word frustration can come into play. Here we go. 